Hello, one and all, this is Matt, the half-assed gamer, coming at you live with a let's play of Oblivion. Yes, Oblivion. Probably one of my favorite games of this generation. Played it all the way back in, I think, maybe 2007, 2008, when it first came out. And yeah, this game was fucking sweet. Just adjusting a couple things. I'm not clipping. Yeah, I'm good. So what can you honestly say about this fucking fantabulous game? Oh, it's broken as all hell. Shut the fuck up. I know it is. It's not really that big of a deal. So in this game, you start off, as in every other Elder Scrolls game, as a prisoner. For some reason, they really must have like a fucking fetish for prisoners. Wait, right, hold on. Dude's talking. You check out my pimp chain, nigga. And glow red and shit. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. Okay, enough of him being sad and shit. So, Uncle Buttfuck, Buttfuck over here is about to die because he's got about to get assassinated by the Crimson. Um, Our hero's name is Wee Wee Butts. And I am not going to be an Imperial. Fuck Imperials. Um. Oh, wait. Oh! oh! Dear Christ. Look at that acne. Jeez, man. That's just. That's just hideous. Man, this game's female characters are just fucking ugly. Anyway, um. Who am I going to be? Who am I going to be? Who am I going to be? No one likes to be the Wood Elf. Fuck the Wood Elf. Right in his little pussy hole. Nord, yeah. Except you can't give him a goddamn beard in this game. What? What? Seriously, what's the Viking kind of guy without a beard? It's stupid. Natural color, color. I just don't. Let's let's just. Yeah, yeah. My hair runs blood red with the blood of the men I've killed. Uh, so let make make him a young guy. Strapping Young Lad. That's a fantastic band, if you have never listened to them before. Yeah, and he's all chiseled like a motherfucker. Except he's got a fucking long-ass face. Look at that. Look at that shit. He can land a plane on that. Um, yeah. I don't really, I don't really feel like doing anything else, so... Here you are in the cell. There's your little window where you can get all your sunshine. There's your shackles where you do all of your, you know, your uh, sadomasochism business. That's probably the weapon of choice. Fucking burn that fire in your nip nips. Who's this guy? Yeah, it's some smarmy ass dark elf over there. Fucking punch him in his fucking face. You can't do Nigga, fucking kid, get out of caffeine your ass. This part of the game's so goddamn fucking slow. I just want to start. That's why I like Morrowind so much. Right after you just set everything up, you, you just go. You go forth. Except in this one, especially Skyrim, you just have to sit here and... I just sat down. On the floor. Uh, I'm sick of sitting around and waiting for shit. I just want to play. Here comes, you know, this guy is all... Hey, what's this guy doing here? He's not supposed to be in here. I don't know. Well, he, she, they're about to say it. Just give him My a sec. Right now is to get you to safety. What's this prisoner doing here? Yeah, he, she, she's like, what's this guy in here? Usual That's not, there he is. Never mind. Hey. Get that gate open. Hey. Stand back, prisoner. You see you anything you like? You I'll, get in our way. Suck, I'll suck that wing-wing. Mmm. Mmm, suck that wing-wing. Okay, I'll, I'll just get over here then. I, I, I brought you a peace offering. Here, take it. Here. Take. Where, where, shit, where'd it go? Here. Son of a bitch. You want a jug? Faggot. Faggot is stay over here. What window? That's not a window. That's a hole in the wall. Bars on it. Let's go. Not out of this yet. You. Yeah. What do you want? Whoa! 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 Back up! I don't, I don't roll like that, homie. 
So your guy's like, ooh, what's going on? He's like, we're trying to escape because some dudes killed all my folks. All hella shit going on, nigga. So they're going through a hole in the wall. All in all, it's just a, another hole in the wall. Unlike in Skyrim, if you punch these guys too much, they will attack you. I learned that the hard way eventually. Come on, Glenroy, you're. Well, yeah, he's about to die. And you're walking along, walking along. If you guys played this game on the PC and you've gone over to the Xbox, you will notice that everything. Look at, look at, just look at this. This is butt fucking ugly. Everything about the Xbox version is just neutered. The PC version just trumps this to fucking high heaven. That usually happens, but not nearly as bad as Oblivion. I was confused when I first got this game on the Xbox. I'm like, where, where are the settings? Everything looks like so shitty. So I'm gonna punch this guy in the back of the fucking skull. Yeah, I did it. You, oh, hey, there's one more. Let's get him. Yeah, nigga. Uh, punch you and you'll junk. Right in the junk. What's this guy got? Uh, probably need that for healing. Everybody knows left bumper, left bumper's he- wait, right bumper, right bumper's heals. I don't know why. Oh, no, nothing. No, oh, wait, yeah, you got healing. You gotta fucking steal everybody's shit in this game, because you have to scrounge for stuff, as well, as far as I remember. <laughs> you don't regenerate health nearly as fast as Skyrim. But you still do, so it's not, you know, that impossible. Yup. 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 So these bastards just sort of, like, you know, leave you. It's like, um... Oh, okay. What am I, chopped liver? And then a fucking hole appears in the wall for no reason. Punch these rats in the goddamn junk. Chest. Hmm. Walk over here. There's a skeleton man. You can make him suck his own, suck in his own pelvis. There you go. Have fun. No, 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 no. Come on. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Yeah. Close enough. Got a lock pick. I like the lock pick mechanic in this game, where Skyrim just copied Fallout, and Fallout was just a little too easy. Like, there's, like, no point in having, like, a lockpick skill in Fallout or Skyrim because it is so amazingly easy just to pick those locks. You got a billy club. You got a key that you need to unlock that door with. I'm not sure if these are one-use or not, or you can, like... Bruh. Excuse me. If you can just, uh, put them on the, uh, spell maker. I don't really remember how that works. Fuck that well. Small crate, another club, torches, and lockpicks. Only interested in lockpicks right now. Gotta go through this door. And a loading screen. Yay! <sighs> oh, by the way, this video is brought to you by Monster. When you need to stay up all night to play a fucking video game, just think Monster. Monster Energy, now available in your local gas station. Mmm. They should have a commercial with the fucking... They should bring back the old style, uh, the Simpsons commercials, you know, with the Butterfinger, with the Bart and Homer. They should do Monster, and Homer's like, Mmm, caffeine. Hmm. Oh, I don't remember. Did I pick up armor? Yes, I did. Rusty Greaves. I don't, I don't need pants. Fuck pants. Shoes. Do I have shoes? Yeah, I gotta wear these shoes. Wait, wait, I need those. Fuck pants. No! Oh! Herder, I gotta drop them. Ah! I'm so smart! Here comes the rats. Oh, uh, if I'm- if- is a- why are you just punching everything? Because I want to make a build where you just punch. Because I always found that just fucking fun. And here's zombies. Something that they fucking got rid of in Skyrim in favor of the mummy people. What are they? Drogers. Punch you and you fucking... Like, look at that. Look, look, look how disgusting these things are. He's, this guy's, like, missing his junk. Check it. Oh, his little ding-dang. <laughs> He's got a little dingle-dang coming out. 
That's disgusting. You decrepit old penis. Reminds me of that fucking Cannibal Corpse cover of Vile. Like, right next to the chained up body and barbed wires. Like, his, like, junk just, like, laying on the floor. I'm like, yeah, it's funny. No oh, gore. How it's hilarious. Don't fucking attack me. Goddamn piece of shit. Teabag your ass. Hmm. So, the whole point of this game, if you haven't played it before, is... You know, um... Spoiler alert, I'm just gonna get there in five minutes anyway. The king dies. Oh, and you gotta, you gotta take his pimp chain to his, uh, his son that he never knew he had. Oh, man, I was at this, I was at this party, right? And I saw this banging bitch. I'm like, hey, baby, I'm the king. And she's all, oh, stick it in me. I want it so bad. And then they did it. And then he just didn't remember because, oh, he was drunk from all the ale he's been drinking. Not ale mead. You gotta put honey in that shit. Or else it tastes like ass. Speaking of beers, anyone else a beer person? I love that shit. Not the stupid domestic beers that you get at the store, but craft. Mm mm mm. Oh, that's good. It's so good. Especially when you get into like the really bizarre kind of shit, like Abbey Ales, Belgian style quadruples, triple ales. Oh, it's so goddamn good. You have to try it. You really do. You gotta. I guarantee any city you live in, there's gonna be a small beer shop or liquor store that sells all this stuff. Get it. It's really fucking worth it. I guarantee you, you will not... Well, if you want to start off with um, ales, if you live in the northeast... Wait. Wait. North... With Midwest in Ohio, there is an awesome company called uh, Great Lakes Brewery. They are fantastic. But if you don't, pretty much any gas station, or not gas station, store will have a... I'm just going to take a quick drink. <sighs> There's going to be a brew called Sierra Nevada. That is really good. That is a entry-level pale ale for you. And they have another one called the Torpedo. That is an entry-level India pale ale. They're the same thing, except India pale ales are just more hoppy. And for those of you who don't know, the hops is what makes the taste bitter. And bitterness is measured in IBUs. If you didn't know, now you do. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You're learning things. Everyone loves learning things. Hmm. I don't. I'm running out of things to talk about. I just gotta keep talking. Talk, 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 talk. That's the that's the secret to a good let's play. Don't stop talking. Just say things. <laughs> Dumb shit. Take his stuff. If you hit those things while they're swinging, they will hurt because apparently this game's never heard of momentum before. Um, nothing up here. Let's go down here. <clears throat> so, Oblivion. I sunk many, a many, a many a hour. Sometimes even, like, all-nighters back on the PC just playing this game because it was so awesome. Like, coming from oh, Morrowind and playing this game was like, the future is now. Like, it blew Morrowind out of the water. Kind of like how Morrowind blew Daggerfall out of the water, graphics-wise, of course. Because, you know, Daggerfall is just a wealth of content. Oh, yeah, I gotta go this way. Wealth of content, indeed. And I think you could play it free on the interwebs. Pull this rock and uh, set loose the rats. Yay! Set loose the rats. It's like a death metal song. Set loose the rats! Where the hell are you going? Where the hell are you going? Ass. Uppercut. Mm, yeah, uppercut. Rusty dagger. I don't need a rusty dagger, but I need some quick heals. Mm. Punch your fucking lights out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh-oh. That guy found me. The fire guy found me. Where is he? Where is he? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Get some quick heals in. I think I'm playing on normal right now. Oh, wait, there is no difficulty setting. There's a slider. I usually play these games on somewhat easier difficulty because back then these games were actually meant to be very hard and encouraged leveling. Unlike Skyrim, where you can just do everything on like a pretty 
diff pretty difficult setting, and it'd be really easy. Except if you run into, like, Falmer and stuff, because they're just uncharacteristically difficult. For a low-level monster, they are very difficult for some reason. I'm just gonna hobble over to this chest here and see what's in it. You might, you might want to take every, everything you can, just take, because even if you're not going to use it, just sell it, because, you know, you actually need gold in this game. Especially if you're in the Thieves Guild, or the Assassin's Guild, and people find out what you've done, and you can actually buy away your bounty. I don't think you do that in Skyrim. I don't think you can buy off your bounty. Well, last time I checked, because that game's so easy to sneak, because there are so many, uh exploits for sneaking. Uh, another quick drink. This video brought to you by Monster. I've already said that, but I don't care. I really gotta stop slamming that glass. I'm going to clip the audio. Gotta get some quick heels up in here. Um, let me look at this, this, this. Um, yeah, there's a reason why I picked these up. It's always good to carry a potion for everything. <laughs> and that... Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Yo, what's good? What? Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Don't, don't hurt me. Get, get away. Get, get back. Get, get back. Get... Okay, enough of that. I prefer not to have to shout. Uh, he, he already called off his dogs. And here they cannot... is where the meat of the game comes in. I don't really care. Yeah, I gotta pick your sign. This gives you a daily skill, I believe. Then you got the steed for speed. Huh, <laughs> steed speed. Steed for speed. The tower is a once a day, you get unlock. That was my f this was my favorite and more one because Lock picking was a random chance, so the tower was, it's like, so useful, you get so many good things. The thief, I am not going to be thieving much, the lady, willpower and endurance, I'm not a mage. So, the Atronach is, I don't like this one, you don't regain magic over time, instead you have a 50% spell absorption. What? What? Ugh. Anyway, I'm going to be doing just a lot of melee, so the warrior's the way to go. Yes, I do. I want to be under the warrior. And for those of you who played... Oh, wait a minute. I'm not in that screen yet? Oh, never mind. I guess the next screen, you're going to be picking your major and minor attributes. Which, for some reason, you may as well. Skyrim thought was... Oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to be too confusing for all these, uh, new, these Call of Duty players to do. It's like, bitch... Shit is so easy to understand. And also with these games, they came with, like, a goddamn, like, encyclopedia inside the box to show you, to tell you, like, what everything does. So it's like, there's no excuse. Why'd you have to simplify everything to the point where it's, like, just an adventure game? It's hardly an RPG. Like, this has more RPG elements than Skyrim. Don't get me started on Skyrim. I like the game and all, but they definitely fucked a lot of things. Like, they bent it over the table, they bent it over the stove, they bent it over the toilet, and they fucked the shit out of it. Quite literally. They fucked the shit out of the butts. That's gross. Get over it. Uh, this bad guy, I gotta punch him. Punch, punch. Stop blocking me, you cock. Where the hell'd he go? Oh yeah, will palm. Yeah, will palm. Uh, awesome thing about... Th wait, no, it has it. In case people don't know, a th something that they left in Oblivion, which doesn't matter, is like what, whatever direction you're running and you hold the power attack, it does a different attack. Like, I'm gonna walk backwards, hold it, that's a wool palm, you go to the side, some, okay, pimp smack. And this one's just a straight ass punch. But there's no point to it, because in the, uh, in the older ones, especially Morrowind, each weapon had its. <clears throat> had a, um, a type of swing that does the most damage. For instance, if you had, like, a, a claymore, you don't want to stab with a claymore. You want to, like, 
really swing the motherfucker. So that's like the attack you'd always want to do with it. And if you had a dagger, like swinging it like a big ass sword ain't gonna do much. That's for stabbing. So you do a stab attack, which is awesome. But they put the option, it's like, always choose the strongest attack first. So it's like, oh, well, I mean, that's nice, but there's sort of no point in then being in there. So in Oblivion, they kept it, but there is no goddamn point. And you don't even, like, you don't even notice on a... You barely even notice in the first-person mode. Like, the only reason, or not the only reason, the only time you notice is when you're in third-person. But nobody plays third-person, like... For instance, your your um, crosshair is gone, so it's like, how do you know what you're hitting? It's it, uh, the, the, the third person modes in these games just fucking sucks. I mean, look at this. Look at this jump. I don't need to bend. Uh, this guy has the calves of a titan. If he doesn't even need to bend his legs to jump. So let's go in here. These guys are all like, oh shit, son, we gotta go do thing over yonder. Okay, but, uh, okay, bye. The king's just gonna talk to me in a little bit. Go. Go forth. D don't leave me alone, you fucking idiot! I can't handle this guy. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks for interrupting there, buddy. I, I, would it be, oh uh, yeah, just kill him. That's what you get for interrupting me, asshole. Oh god, this guy's hurting me. Oh god, no, seriously, no, dude, seriously, get away. Seriously, get away. Oh, thank god. Yeah, this game's difficult when you actually put the difficulty on. Which is always, like, a fun challenge. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing useful. Yeah, you failed, blah, 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 blah. I feel sorry for you, gotta go in the sewers. Here is where you pick your classes. There are a bunch of preset ones, each, you know, suited for us type of play, including the guy who's, like, taking a, like, taking a shit and admiring a flower. I don't know what person in the game would want to just, you know, pretend to take a shit looking at flowers. This guy, big-ass schnuzzle, he's like, I am knee-deep in this Harry Potter novel. This guy is all like, oh, man. <laughs> oh, smells so good. And, hey, put him up, put him up. You have a bow, why are you punching? Fucking idiot. This guy's like, ha ha, look at my, the flame coming out of my hand. This guy's all like, yeah, I'm noble, what of it? The healer. This guy's like, oh shit, no, no, get away. And this guy's all like, yeah, I'm, I'm a battle mage. And the bard's all like, I'm a, I'm a bard. So I never do that, I always, like, customize it. Um, suited for combat, I gotta go. Um, I totally forgot, let me read these really quick. Affects your ability to maneuver, balance fatigue. Oh yeah, fatigue, you need a lot of fatigue if you're gonna be punching a lot. And obviously strength, because, you know, a bean pole can't really punch people very effectively. Strength, okay, so I usually go acrobatics. Armorer, because I'm gonna have to wear armor eventually. Athletics, yes. Block, mm, of course. Wait, that's not blade, that's block. There you go. Uh, blunt. Yeah. Take a hits from the bong. Um. If I'm in a tiffy, I'll pull up a weapon. But for the most part, I'm gonna try. Yeah, hand can. There we go. Wait, heavy armor. What's this one? Oh, derp. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Marksman, mercantile, speechcraft. I always try to do speechcraft. It, it comes in handy. It comes in handy when you want to talk to people. Um, is this it? Wait a minute, no, I don't need acrobatics. That's just for jumping, isn't it? Long, jump long, yeah, that's, that's just for jumping. I usually go security. I love lockpicking. Oh, okay, um, now I gotta name it. Dildo Liquor. Create Dildo Liquor class? Yes. Dildo Liquor. Are you sure you want to be Dildo Liquor? Yeah, no, yes. I wasn't far off. I wasn't far off. Wait, did, did this guy literally think I was a Dildo Liquor by looking at me? You, sir, are an asshole. Alright, so we gotta escape the sewers. And we gotta give the pimp chain to this dude guy, man's son. Emperor Uriel, so... Wait, I didn't get that. 
Okay. I didn't. I wasn't aware I had that key. Oh, for those of you who never played this and was like wondering how you actually do that, when you hit the tumbler, it goes all the way up, and once it hits like the roof, I guess, the roof of the tumbler system, you click A. And if you do it a little before or a little after, it will just completely snap it. You will go through a lot of lockpicks, so find as many as you can. Ah, yum, 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 monster. Get it at your gas station. I will stop the video once I get out of the sewers. Let's go. Ah, what to talk about? I, uh, this has been going on for 25 minutes. According to my software, I'm going to punch the shit out of you. Uh, whoop, whoops. Yeah, I'm getting shit on my sandal. Oh my god, where's my feet? Oh my god, I'm a torso. Where's my feet? Oh my god. And just go over here, la di da. And this guy's gonna be all like, yo, man, yo, my turf. I cut you up so bad. Okay, yeah, I'll punch you. This guy's just admiring the wall over here, and I just beat the shit out of him. Holy shit. Um, anything useful? Nope. Oh, wait, yep. Lockpicks. Lockpicks are your friend. So seriously, if you have never played an Elder Scrolls game, please do yourself the goddamn favor and get one. If you have an Xbox or a 360, I believe Morrowind may, or I repeat, may be compatible with the 360, which is a serious strike against the 360 that only a couple games are supported, whereas the PS2 has full compatibility. And I think the PlayStation 3, depending on what games it can actually play, is full compatibility also. So if you exit the sewer right here, edit, nope, I don't want to, this is where you, this is, you finalize everything, but I am done, so I'm going to exit the sewers. And I sometimes have a freezing issue, and if it freezes, I will see you next time, if, and if it's not, I will continue into town. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Please, 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 please. Yes. Yes. Fucking rock out. Ah, look at this blurry, blurry, blurry backdrop. It is so sexily blurry. Look at this water. Ah, look at that straight line. I'm gonna straight as an arrow. I should, I really shouldn't knock the game. This game came out right at the beginning. Holy shit, these trees are ugly. Like, let me look at them in the light. God damn, it's just ugly, 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 ugly. But I really shouldn't be mocking this game because it came out at the very beginning of the 360, and that was a very awkward time for games because nobody knew how to make everything look super sexy. So I guess it's okay. It's much better on the PC, but here it's just wow. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, oh, it's ugly. And the whole empty ex expanse. Of all the worlds of the Elder Scrolls games I played, I think Cyrodiil's probably my least favorite because all it is is just fields. Boring! I really like Skyrim, but friggin' Morrowind was awesome! So many goddamn varied towns. You got, like, a couple, you know, Imperial towns. Maybe like a little Nord settlement, but then when you get to the Dark Elf places, hall, oh, those places are sweet. Especially when you get to later town, later level towns in the game, where you have to like have like a flying spell to fly through the buildings. That is awesome. That was awesome shit. Nope, uh, froze a little bit there. Stupid game. That's actually not my. Uh, <laughs> that's a couple bad things about more or oblivion. It's just gonna it stutters a little bit. So that's not my capture card that's actually in my game <laughs> so we gotta go here a little stuttering frame rate thanks game another freeze we're gonna go into town and we're gonna sell off a whole bunch of shit this guy's just staring at you like I see you I will find you and I will kill you I got all my stuff that I need to sell Awesome-ass armor. I used to steal that. I used to kill guards all the time just to get that armor. Oh. 
Hello. And you get these, this obvious lesbian talking to this guy he, who does not match very well, I might add. Uh. The first thing you want to do when you start off this game is you got to sell, sell, sell. You need money. You need the money. We're going to go into the best defense. Because, of course, the best offense is a good defense. <laughs> oh, I'm so goddamn funny. Fuck this guy, he's a little wiener who so Oh, wait! Before I mention, to pick up items, it's LB. There's an exploit in Skyrim where you can pick everything up and, like, run away, and then when no one's looking, you steal it and nothing happens. The same in Fallout. It's because, you know, Skyrim's just a reskinning of Fallout, in all honesty. It's, it's an entire reskin. But in this game, it's like, you try to pick it up with LB, uh, nope, that shit ain't going... Why are they looking at me? Why are you... Are you too, like, gay or something? Are they waiting for me to leave so they can have hot, dry sex? I guess not. Let's let's talk to this guy. Let's talk to Afro Man over here. He's Bernardo. He's the guy who does things. So, we want to sell. Sell, sell. See, I got a club. I got long swords. I'm not going to be using swords. Sell. Yep. I'm gonna keep that. Fuck the billy club. Fuck the steel sword. You're gonna need to put that on. I'm not gonna be using soul gems. Soul gems is really easy. All you gotta do, have the soul trap spell, hit an enemy, and then if you kill him within a certain time frame, you get the soul and the soul gem, and that's used for making enchanted weapons and recharging them. There's an awesome weapon in this game called, uh, Penumbra or something like Umbra, that's what it is. It's enchanted with Soul Trap, so it's like an automatic Soul Trap, which was awesome. Very useful, very powerful weapon. You can get it... Actually, you can't get it pretty early. On an actual difficulty setting, the lady who has it will fucking rape your sorry ass. So this is all I need. What armor do I need? Uh, I need boots. Let's get some boots from this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, I need three pairs of boots. I need one for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, I think I got gauntlets. I don't have gauntlets. Let's get a pair of gauntlets, too. Did I already buy it? Come back. Yeah, I already bought it. Okay, so let's... Oh, interesting that thing to add. If you have a high speech craft, right over here, where you see this happy little smiling nigga over here, click it. This... Oh, I gotta really turn these tutorials off. This is a admire, boast, joke, and coerce circle. What you do, start. You see here, you see like huge ass fucking um, radius, really sm kind of small, pretty big, and teeny. And if you see, you go to admire up here. This guy's like, this guy's like high as shit. You go to joke. He's like, I don't appreciate jokes. You go down here. He's like, oh, okay. And then you boast. He's like. I hate braggers. Oh, well, so do I, but it's like... Okay, so what you want to do, every single time you press A, this entire gradius is going to go clockwise, this way. And what you want to do is you want to try to match this really high meter to one of these that he kind of likes. He's like, oh, oh, of course. I don't know what that word means. He's like, Meyer's like, oh, I like it when people admire my big black cock. So, let's try, um... He doesn't like this. He doesn't like this. There's an automatic rotate. Bu oh, wait. I'm running out of time, aren't I? Yeah, I am. So, uh, I'll just bribe him. Bribing just gives you time, I guess. So, um, I really don't have any good outcomes right now. So, let's do this. Wait. Um, yeah, he likes this more. I will fight you. And he doesn't like bragging. Oh, yeah, he'll fucking hate you forever if you do that. Let's um, do this. Wait, let me see what bribe one more time does. Okay, bribing does not give you another rotate. You get one rotate per chance. Alright, let's try this. So, And he will like this a fucking lot. What a wonderful compliment. And another thing, you have to do all four of these. So, Look at his eyebrows. He's like, hmm. Wait, hold on. Wait, where is it? He's like, hmm, I'm, I'm going to see you later. Oh, we're going to have a good time, aren't we? So let's just do this. You're a big, fat liar. 
die. So I actually, <laughs> he actually likes me less than when I started. But of course, this is improved once you have a high speechcraft skill. So let's just leave. Uh, it's, it's 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 one of those interesting things that they left out of Skyrim because you know they think people are dum dums. Ah, monster, buy it at your local gas station. Hmm. So I let me just attach these. Oh, where'd I go? Where'd I go? Where? Wait. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, he's looking pretty beast. Wait. Oh yeah. Oh, cha, I'm going to punch. I, I, I almost never wear helmets. Wait, wow, attacking. I'm not attacking. Oh, yeah, buying. Another thing I like in this game, when you do certain things, like jumping for your acrobatics, punching for everything, you'll level up this particular skills, right? Yeah, of course. So then um, you'll level up. You're like, oh, sweet. And you put points into your major, minor, and sometimes basic skills. Which is like, oh, okay, that's cool. And when you level these up, you will also get the perks when you level it up on the spot. Not like Skyrim, where you have a st the stupid fucking skill trees. I will always hate Skyrim's skill tree. It's, it's stupid. Because, like, say, like, do, you're doing a lot of hand-to-hand. -hand. You're leveling up. It's like, well... I could give myself a hand-to-hand -hand perk, but I need this other perk. I I'm just gonna, you know, pretend that it's me in person. I'm gonna move my head as if I'm actually talking. You need another level. You need another skill to do the, um, to get like certain locks open. So you have to do that, and your poor fists are being left out. But it's still stupid. It's honestly the dumbest fucking thing ever. Uh, oh well, I'm rambling. So let's do a mission, okay? Let's. Fine, let's give the pimp chain to that dude's son. Let's go. You see a little map down there, a little red triangle? That's the direction you need to go. The thing that they added in this game to make quest finding a lot easier. <sighs> Monster, buyer, local gas station. Um, This was not in Oblivion. Or not Oblivion. This was not a feature in Morrowind. In Morrowind, you, you have a notebook where you write everything in. It tells you, like, oh, well, I talked to this dude, he gave me the direction, what time, what person I need to talk to. Not in this game. The game's like, oh, just follow the red triangle. Yeah. Yeah, just follow the red triangle. Really? I like looking at the notebook. Is there even a notebook in this game? Um... Yeah, this 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 passes as the notebook. I need to take the pimp chain to Joffrey. In this game, in in Morrowind, it'd be like, the day is September. Witnessing the king's murder, I received his pimp chain. He told me with his last dying breath that I need to find a Joffrey. He lives to the northeast of here at Wainon Priory, between the two rivers of. Snake and Arrow, or whatever. Ooh, that's a good Rush album, Snakes and Arrows. Anyway, that's what the notebook would be like. It'd be like a mini story in the game, and then it's like, I need to take the, uh, the pimp chain to Joffrey at Random Priory. I just, oh god. This whole simplifying these awesome games mentality of nowadays really just pisses me off. It's it's just a joke. It honestly is a goddamn joke. So, actually, uh, this this uh, yeah this episode went on long enough. I will stop here. Um, who's this guy? Jorge. Let's save. Save successful. I will see you next time. Peace out, niggas.